What's up YouTube? It's BC Builds. Um, this is the first video of my car, or any of my cars. Um, sitting here is a 97 Civic DX. Um, it is, I guess, the forest green sitting on a, what is it, a fucking GSR hammer, or not hammers, the swirlies, uh, with blocks, extended lug nuts. Uh, the car I got for a little under two grand, super clean. It is an automatic, but I changed that. Uh, the car leads, uh, what is it, 68,000 miles, just under 69, what, 68,7. Uh, if my tack uh, came up with my old car, I really don't need it yet until I really swap the tranny and the motor. Uh, just some more gauges. Uh, yeah, it's a boost gauge already in. I haven't even got the turbo in. Um, I'll show you real quick. This is, I believe, one of my Jensen head units. Uh, it's flip out because this is only single DIN, which kind of aggravates me. The hidden iPod connector. Uh, everything in the car is pretty much clean. No headrests um, or no sun visors, you know. Uh, oof, gauges, my radar. I do have the radar jammer. It's actually most of it's hidden, so you'll never see any of it, so I don't get in trouble in New Jersey. A boost gauge, kill switches for the amp and the rest of the electronics. Um, really, I don't have anything special. I just have a JL, I think it's an A1000, and then a W6, 10 or 12 inch. God, I can't even fucking remember. Uh, it is turned all the way down. It's fucking like 80 hertz, you know. I think I only need two ohms. You know, I don't need it too loud. It's a little less civic. Nothing special in the interior. Yeah, I really want to keep the car as clean as possible. So I'm going to hide the tack and the boost gauge. Those are just temporary. Uh, one of them has a screw. The other one's just stuck on. You can see my GSR. The swirlies are in decent condition. I traded a pair of 18-inch uh, XL deep dish rims I had that were on one of my other cars. My older 03 Civic uh, boosted, uh, which actually got hit by a tree during Sandy. So the car was useless. Uh, two of the tires were really bad. One of the rims was cracked. Found somebody who gave me a pair of, you know, these are almost all brand new tires and nicer rims. Um, you can see it's not lowered yet, but what I have in the box in the garage, I have uh, TN coilovers through the Pro Street series. They're not the bottom level street, you know, they're in the next one up, I can't remember. They were just under $1,000, it wasn't bad. Uh, I'm probably going to drop the car maybe like two and a half inches. You know, we'll see. I got the full lip kit. You know, uh, Mugen front lip, which is sticker bound, and it came like that. I don't like it. Um, it is white. It doesn't look nice because I'm going to, I don't know. I'm probably just going to repaint it. I got the back Mugen lip. Uh, the side skirts are okay on this. So, you know, we're going to leave that uh, sitting in the motor. Now, this is uh, just a pretty much stock D, uh, D16 motor, um, automatic tranny. Uh, it has... Um, Custom intake, I think all those parts are maybe like a Spectre intake when you buy it like Pet Boys or something. Uh, it's really not that bad. It's three inches. Um, uh, I got a lot of the parts from a friend and a couple of them were used out of my old Corolla I had. Uh, so it really does go down over here and I guess you can't really see it. I cut out part of the fender well and there's another pipe going down with another uh, water filter to keep the moisture out to really get some cool air out of you can see it probably not from the under end there um which it not like fucking turbo difference but you know, i can really feel a lot of difference and you can hear it suck in the air uh the vacuum hose is just run right to a filter um really nothing special i don't know if i actually shut the car off probably not let's not kill this battery sorry about that guys um nothing new on this side of the garage, which I'm not really going to open because I'm kind of lazy, uh, we have a the full, almost a full motor swap ready to go. It should be boosted and swapped out within the next month or two. Uh, it is an RSX K20 motor um, with a, it's like a six-speed tranny that comes with it. Um, I'm waiting on the motor mounts. I have the harness, the ECM. Uh, as for turbo, we have a Turbonetics 57 trim, uh, Apexi, uh, what the fuck is it called, uh, manifold, um, Apexi downpipe, uh, some random JDM test pipe, full Apexi turbo exhaust, 
Um, I'm probably going to end up reusing this for the turbo intake, you know, uh, you know, suck in as much cool air as you can possibly, you know, I don't want to cut into the car. Uh, it's like an R&N, some off JDM brand, FMIC, which is front mounting cooler for people who do not know. Um, as for that amount, I have a Megan strut bar for it that was off one of my old cars, the other Civic, which actually fits. I don't know why, but it does. You know, 2003 to a 97. Uh, the car is pretty clean for the most part. It did have some rear end damage, and the guy who I bought it from, from the auto body shop, really didn't do that great of a job repairing it. Uh, he really just threw some Bondo on and did a shitty ass paint job. As you can see, how it it doesn't blend. He never wet sanded it. But, you know, from a distance it doesn't look bad. I'll get around to it. I do want to repaint the whole car. You know, probably, you know, with the SIR Civic White. I don't know what the actual paint code or number is. But the crisp white. Uh, when it, not a Mako paint job. I want the door jams, everything done. Uh, once we pull the motor, we're going to paint the whole inside. We're going to do it in a poly. A high heat plastic it black just so it doesn't show up. You do it white, it's going to be dirty in a day. Um, we have the Pexi standalone sitting in there. Oh, fuck, a Pexi fuel rail, new fire. None of this is in yet. Uh, 550cc injectors, which really aren't that big. Uh, the whole system probably capable of around 300 horsepower when it's swapped, sitting around 8 psi boost. Which really isn't a lot. I think the whole system is capable of maybe 22, 25, but that's pushing it considering this is my daily driver. Um, I don't want to push it. I don't want any black smoke. I don't want any oil leaks. I don't want to put a rod through the fucking roof. You know, I don't, you know, I don't want to crack anything. It's already going to cost a fortune to have the shit tuned in because I just don't have the tools. So, anything you guys want to see in this car my specialty is really electronics i do some minor motor work you know uh, i build custom audio i've been doing it for a while uh you guys want to see anything cool done to this car or any suggestions let me know i haven't had a civic in a while i've been rocking the corolla until i had to sell that court issues baby mama bullshit but i love that car now it's gone and my other honda got crushed by a tree so i ended up with this which isn't bad i've always wanted this year's civic i love the body style and it was great i found one for under two grand with fucking under a hundred thousand miles so this is bc builds you know checking out my clean motor clean car so let me know any tips any of the other uh, honda jdm guys out there i want to I want to make the car faster, but I want to keep it clean. Nothing like my fucking Corolla, which was blacked out all the way around. You know, big black, well, not big black rims, but blacked out rims, you know, matte black. I just want to keep this car clean, you know. I want it to look like a lowered stock fucking Civic, you know, uh, with the K20 swap in it. Basically a sleeper. All right, guys, signing off.